So I've been having a clonking from my steering rack. I tried to play around with the adjustment that you saw in a previous video, but that didn't really, it either locked up the steering kind of with no self-centering, or if I loosened it off, the clonking came back. So uh, I've got an event quite soon, um, a Wales trip that um, is with MX-5 guys, and I really want to get this done. So what I've done is I've, this is the old rack, is I bought a second-hand rack off eBay from a 2014 car with supposedly, I think it's 26,000 miles or something like that. So hopefully it's just going to be a bolt-on job. So this is the second-hand rack I got off eBay. Um, looks fairly genuine. These are the OEM um, style of um, doing the uh, rubbers, the gaiters, and their original gaiters. Um, looks pretty clean. You know, you don't know if the seller's lying, but they look like a proper business that does it. You know, a bit like Charles Trent's, you know, recycling of all the, you know, exactly which car it came off and stuff. So, it was all fine. They've obviously cut one of the lines, so I've just popped that off this one. And then hopefully it's going to be a fairly easy swap over. Obviously, you have to get alignment and things done afterwards, but that's the least of my problems at the moment. So, um, yeah, um, I'm just going to put it on exactly how it is um, and see what, see what happens. Um, so, at the moment, just over here... I did take off those front brackets here, hasn't really done a lot, so um, yeah, I'm just about to have a look and see which way I'm going to tackle this, and I'll let you know. So one of the first things I've done, undone um, the ball joint at the end, tie rod end, leave the, the nut on, and then hopefully jump it, there you go, that's loose, take your nut back off. And that's one easy way to get these rod ends out. So, uh, get a nut off. That's now off. Obviously, do the same the other side. So, I'm on the passenger side of the car. That's a 17mm socket. It goes into a captive nut underneath. So, my next job is to take off both of those that hold this bracket on that holds the rack. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, this bit um, was from the uh, new rack where they've cut it. Um, so, basically, this one um, goes onto the steering rack. Um, then there's, oh, lighting's awful, sorry. Then there's a little bolt here. So what I'm gonna try and do is obviously use the one that's already on the car so I don't have to um, fluff about with it. This one goes right to the top of the um, power steering pump on the front of your engine. So obviously that's a bit of a pain. So what I'm gonna do on the old rack is I'm gonna undo this, which is a little 10 mil bolt. And I'm gonna undo this one, which is like a banjo type bolt and um, then get the rack out separately from that. So uh, I'm just about to get that little bolt out this one. So underneath the radiator, that's that little 10 mil bolt. Just got a little ratchet spanner on there, but you could get a normal spanner on there. So I'm gonna take that one off. From the top of the engine, um, I'm trying to undo the steering sh um, shaft. So this is the top of the uh, joint. There's another, another bolt down a bit further down. Obviously I've got this access don't know if you will have that take all that apart so let's have a quick look in here so yeah you can get your hand in at the back here see where the end of the spanner is so get in there and undo the bottom um, of the uh, the UJ joint I don't think you can see down there that well but the orange bit is part of the uh, um, the steering rack and it's got a little marker on it I'm guessing that's for the center it's got a little mark um, on the metal of the steering rack as well. So I'm guessing that's again, is center. And then on the steering joint that you can see coming down from the left, you've got the two bits of metal, which are the darker black bits. And then you've got like what looks in the picture a little bit pinky. And it doesn't line up straight with the, um, the mark on the yellow, but it's just off to the right hand side by sort of one, one click. Um, I don't, if that's standard, don't know if it's been played with before, but that's what I'm taking as my marker for where I want to join it back up. Um, so just just note those type of things. So now I'm back on uh, inside the car on top of the rack um, The silver bit up there is the socket on the um, banjo type bolt um, So that's the the one I'm going to get you can get to it Because um, the uh, roll bar doesn't get in the way so I uh, might put a little bit of an extension on that But that's the next thing I'm going to undo and obviously there's going to be fluid I put a bit of plastic down and my normal oil, my oil tray and uh, try and catch most of the rubbish. So on the driver's side, those two mounting um, bolts as well into captive nuts that are holding the rack to the subframe. 
Um, quite hard to get to. I've actually been able to get to the back of one. I haven't actually tried to undo it yet, but I've got onto it by dropping the, the socket all the way down there. Obviously, I don't know what configuration you've got here because I've moved things about. I think maybe the battery was here, but you may be able to get to this one as well. I was able to get um, both of those mounting um, bolts on the driver's side out from above. So now the rack is loose, but what I've got to do is I've got to try and break off or push back that UJ that's onto the spline of the steering um, spline. So I need to try and I've got a crowbar. I'm going to try and get in there and uh, push it off. I put a crowbar um, on top of the rack to push it away and pulled it out of that joint. And now the rack should be I'm sure it's going to get caught, but uh, we're pretty loose there now. You have to get this hose off the end of the radiator. Uh, it's not radiator hose, it is the power steering hose. Lots of fluid does come out of there, so get your uh, receptacle ready. And hopefully, that is the last thing. So uh, I think that's going to pull out. So I've got the old rack out. Just had to push on the, the radiator a little bit to push it forward. And it all came out. I've now got the uh, replacement to go in. I'm gonna thread that in. Already got this pipe that should go on to the end there. So that's good. And then the other one is gonna bolt in, the one that's still on the car. The banjo fitting is gonna bolt on there and the little bracket goes on there. So uh, yeah, gonna whack it in. And uh, I think the difficult bit is gonna be, so what I've done is I've, it's two and, it's about two and a half turns lock to lock. So I've evened it out. This yellow bit moves. I perceive that that is the middle of the uh, uh, of the rack. So you want to do that. And uh, I think the difficult bit is going to be getting that spline on, unfortunately. But we're, we'll see how it goes. So I've got the uh, replacement rack in. Took some time lining up the splines um, to get that right. Um, then obviously I've got the... Uh, the banjo back on as a copper washer either side of the banjo. Got the four mounting points back on. Put this hose back on. And uh, that is pretty much the rack in. Just putting the, uh, connecting up the track rods. And then uh, it's gonna need to be bled. And uh, I can't bleed it. Well, you can, I th the one video I've watched about bleeding, I've never bled a power steering system is, um, you don't turn the engine on, you just fill up the reservoir and you keep turning it um, from left to right sort of 15, 20 times and it should um, basically burp or bubble out of the uh, the reservoir for the power steering and that's uh, when it should be basically bled and then just top it up a little bit and you're done. Obviously I've got to put back all the under tray and everything like that but so far that is how to do it. Obviously it'd be easier if you had um, if you did this at the time of having the subframe out and or wanted to disturb the, didn't mind disturbing the water system, but I didn't want to do any of that. So, you know, obviously I'm working in confined space. It has made it a little bit harder, but you don't need to take the anti-roll bar off. You don't really need to take much off at all, um, other than the under tray, and then obviously just working your way to get the steering rack off. So it can be done, and uh, pretty happy with that, taking a few hours. Um, but yeah, all good, hope it helps someone.